So, here's the parking area, and it's about a quarter of a way around the Lake Loop Trail is the turn off for the Live Oak Trail and the Sand Ridge Trail. So we'll take the Live Oak Trail, take the Sand Ridge Trail around, hook back up and finish the Live Oak Trail, and back to the Lake Loop Trail. The uh, Live Oak Trail is about a half a mile total. Sand Ridge Trail is about one mile total. So they, they look long on the map, but they're not really that long. So let's head down the Lake Loop Trail to the turnoff. So we're heading down from the parking lot. There's a sign for our turnoff to go to those northern trails, the Live Oak Trail and the Sand Ridge Trail. So we'll take it. So remember, Live Oak Trail is a loop just like everything else. And we'll turn to the right and head down the trail. Recall that the Sand Ridge Trail is a loop trail off the Live Oak Trail. So here's the intersection. You can either continue straight and just do the Live Oak Trail. It's about a half a mile total. Or hang a right here and do the Sand Ridge Trail, which is about a mile. So we'll hang a right and go on the Sand Ridge Trail. Here's a map. The arrow kind of shows where we are. Here's the Sand Ridge Loop. We'll be good citizens and follow the sign, so we'll go to the right. Christmas like it in here. The uh, white algae grows on the trees and then the red lichen grows on top of that. So if the red lichen uses the white algae to stick to the tree and in return the red lichen helps to nourish the white algae. So they get along real well and it's called Christmas lichen obviously for the red color. There's some white algae just waiting for some red lichen to show up. Another very pretty trail, like all the trails in the Arboretum are. We're maybe half a mile in or so, and uh, we've come to a junction with the Deer Moss Trail. And this trail will cut through the middle of the loop. So this is a shortcut through the Sand Ridge Trail. So it'll just kind of cut across the kind of the diameter of the loop and then join up with the Sand Ridge Trail on the other side where you turn left to go out. But we'll continue on straight. There's some wetlands to the right and uh, a lot of sawgrass in there. And these wetlands lead on out eventually to the St. John's River, which is not too far north of here. Here's a little better view of the sawgrass and actually the creek and waterway that leads on north to the St. John's. This is just a little loop that shows us a pine scrub habitat. We'll take a quick peek up there at that. A lot of this was cleared out by loggers, but uh, pine scrub would be characterized by these pine trees and then scrub oak and other types of scrub bushes underneath. Normally a little fuller than this, but again, do the logging mice kind of open. We've been kind of walking along with this depression marsh to our right, so we might as well stop sometime and take a peek at this. Depression marsh is like a big saucer, so it's got some hard clay underneath it, and then when it's been rainy, like it has been, it'll fill up. Now, obviously, the center is more filled up, so plants that are more water tolerant live in the center of the depression marsh, and then as you go out toward the edge where we are now, 
are plants that uh, need a lot less water. So the marsh is pretty full right now, but it'll slowly leak in. Again, there's clay underneath, so it doesn't, doesn't empty very quickly, but it'll slowly turn totally dry. And you'll see plants along the perimeter kind of surviving okay with less water, and then the plants in the center dying back until it fills up again. Depression marsh. This is another interesting habitat, rosemary scrub. Characterized by sandy, dry soil. Open area. See how sandy it is. Florida rosemary bushes there. And normally we see quite a bit of deer moss in here. That's a lichen. We've passed quite a bit of it in the forest already. You see quite a bit here in North Florida. Ocala National Forest is full of it. Deer moss lichen. Again, sandy, dry, old sand dune, low bushes, rosemary, and deer moss. Remember that shortcut we saw that cut through the middle of the sand ridge loop? This is where it comes out. It's called the Deer Moss Trail. So if you'd have cut through, we'd have, you'd have come right to this point. So we'll just keep on going on the sand ridge trail, head on out. Okay, done the sand ridge loop. Back to where we turned right a little while ago. We'll head back across the bridge to the Live Oak Trail. We can turn left out here, go back the way we came, or turn right and finish the Live Oak Trail. So we'll turn right here and do the rest of the Live Oak Trail. And we got a little up on this one too, so if going up hills bothers you, you might want to try this section. More beautiful trail here on the Live Oak Trail. Finish the up part. Now we're kind of going down a little bit. This open area had some invasive camphor trees, so they cut those out. But they left a little bit of one here. This little gift, some enterprising sawyer gave us a little turtle. Here's one reason why they call it the Live Oak Trail. It's one big beautiful Live Oak. Pretty And back out to the Lake Loop Trail. So that's the Sand Ridge Trail and the Live Oak Trail on the north part of the Arboretum. Very pretty. It's 
some distinctive features like the rosemary scrub and the depression marsh, the pine scrub. All very interesting. So we just head up this way and back to the parking lot. Oh, and don't forget to stop here. It's a wonderful place and it lives on donations. So when you come out, drop some money in the box.